Today in this video, let us talk about iPhone 16 and let us talk about all the leaks and rumors and everything that we know about the very same and what we will get in the September event which will basically get four different iPhones that is iPhone 16, the 16 Plus, the 16 Pro and the Pro Max and yes, there will just not be any ultra smartphone but without missing any time, let us just get a deep dive into this video and see what all we have got in the iPhone 16 series. Now, I want to start with the display specifications on the iPhone 16 series and yet again the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus will remain the same size as what we saw on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. Now that means that iPhone 16 it will come with a 6.1 inches display and the iPhone 16 Plus it will come with a 6.7 inches display which is a very good thing but the only downside about this thing is that we will not get any 120 hertz of refresh rate on both of the iPhones and there will be no changes in the terms of the display size which means that the bezels will not be thinner than what you got on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 plus which is basically not a bad thing because even without a thinner bezel I think these smartphones over here they have got one of the least bezels on any smartphone and I just love everything that Apple has done with these smartphones over here but if I talk about the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max they will get a bit of pump in the terms of the display sizes and the overall footprint of the entire device itself and this means that the iPhone 16 Pro it will come with a 6.3 inches display whereas the iPhone 16 Pro Max it will house a 6.9 inches display that is again both of them would be 0.2 inches more than what they had on their predecessors that was the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max just like this thing over here but yet again I would say it is a good bump up and again the display bezels would be even thinner than what you saw on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max that was again a very thin bezels on these devices over here but the bezels will go down by another 1.5 mm which is just great. Now this would be possible just because of a new technology that is a powder reduction structure technology which helps with the reduced circuitry size and gets you a smaller bezel and now let us talk about the brightness on these displays because yes we will get a brightness bump on all the four smartphones in the lineup and we might see up to a 2000 uh, nits of peak brightness on the smartphones that we will get this year that is the iPhone 16 series versus the 1600 nits of peak brightness that was maximum that those smartphones were able to get but yet again I would say the HDR content would look even better on the iPhone 16 series and also the outdoor visibility will again be better on the iPhone 16 series and the best one will be again the iPhone 16 Pro Max and you might see something very similar to what you have got on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra with even more brightness on the smartphones that is again something that I am just expecting out of these smartphones over here. Now one thing that I just did not like like is again the 60 hertz of refresh rate on the iPhone 16 and the 16 plus versus 120 hertz on this thing over here which is great for this smartphone but I would just want Apple to include a 120 hertz of refresh rate on the iPhone 16 and the 16 plus as well but the rumors just suggest that it would not be happening at least this year around or at least Apple should have just given something like 90 hertz at least on those smartphones over there. Now let us talk about the design changes on the iPhone 16 series versus what we have got on the iPhone 15 series from the last year. Now we already know that the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max will be a bit more larger than the previous year thanks to the larger display sizes but that also means that the overall footprint on the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max will be larger than what you got on the similar smartphones from the past year. Now here is the difference between the dimensions on both of the devices and you can see that a few of those devices would be a bit more thinner than the last year but here we have it let us see what are the other differences and let us start with the camera design on the iPhone 16 and the 16 plus because yes both of these smartphones will see an updated design in the terms of the camera hardware and again it will look very similar to what you had on the iPhone 12 or iPhone 13 or iPhone 11 because now you will see a vertical camera alignment to enable the special uh, video recording and make some awesome content for the Apple Vision Pro but if we talk about the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max it will just look similar to what you had in the iPhone 15 series or the iPhone 14 series the Pro and the Pro Max and you will just not see a major change just the regular three camera setup on the back along with a LiDAR and also a camera flash and a microphone as you already know of. And now next let us just talk about the action button on the iPhones because yes all the iPhones in the iPhone 16 series they will be coming with an action button unlike what you saw on the iPhone 15 series where only the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max had the very same thing but yes Apple would be transitioning and all the iPhones in the iPhone 16 series 
may come with an action button which is a great thing but there would be another major change as well because now all the new iPhones may come with a capture button somewhere over here down the road the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 plus they will come with an aluminium print just like what you have on the iPhone 15 series and if we talk about the Pro and the Pro Max they will just come with a titanium frame again that is very similar to what you got on the previous years of iPhone but what you would see is a more glossy finish just like what you had on the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max versus more like a matte finish that we got on the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max and yes I would just love to have a more a glossy finish rather than having a matte finish on these smartphones it is just about the liking and i like the glossy finish on the smartphones more now talking about the color options the iphone 16 and the iphone 16 plus will come in blue pink green yellow black white and purple color which is again a lot of colors that these smartphones would come in but the iphone 16 pro and the iphone 16 pro max will come in a black titanium or a space black and a white titanium, a desert titanium and potentially a rose gold color as well that was something that was very amazing when we saw the very same thing on the iPhone 6s I just remember buying the same color on the 6s and I just want again the very same thing to happen with the iPhone uh, 16 Pro and the Pro Max as well and I would be the number one person to buy the very same thing if we have just got a rose gold color on those smartphones over here it would be just very amazing now next let us talk about all the internal components on the iphone 16 series because yet again we will see some major improvements in the terms of the npu the gpu the cpu and so much so on the latest iphone uh, 16 series as well now talking about the iphone 16 and the iphone 16 plus they will get a bump in the performance as well because they will get an A18 Bionic chip which is again something that is very capable of using the Apple intelligence features that would be again missing in the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 plus even though that we will have those features officially in the iOS 18 but yet again those smartphones does not support the very same thing and that would make a lot of people buy the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 plus because yes again you will get all the premium features in the entry level of the iPhones and that is something that I would be just looking for because i just want to see that what would be the sales on those iphones versus the premium the pro and the pro max now if you guys notice one thing the iphone 16 and the 16 plus i said that they will come with an a18 binary chip and you also see the version of the latest iPhones that is again the iOS 18 and you see the things are just aligning very well and the same thing will be happening on the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max because those smartphones will get an A18 Pro Bionic chip and that is again the complete set of lineup the A18 series along with the iOS 18 that will make it one of the first iPhone lineups to get the Apple intelligence features. Now these processors will be a 3 nanometer chip processor and they will be very similar to what you saw on the M4 chips in the latest iPads and again it will be powerful with a better NPU, a better GPU and a better performance overall. Also now let us talk about the battery and the charging capacity because that is something that would be changed and enabled by the A18 Bionic chip and you will just get to see a faster charging on all the iPhones regardless of being a pro or a non-pro model. Now this means that we will see a faster 40 watt charging on all the iPhone models that will be a wide one but the wireless charging the max safe one would be capped at 20 watt which is still 5 watt faster than what you had on the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max and that is again something that is very amazing. Now this means that yet again we will get a USB Type-C on all the iPhones and all I expect is that the iPhone 16 and the 16 Plus should come with a faster uh, USB Type-C and not something like what you got on the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus. Now one thing to note over here is that the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 16 Pro Max they might come with a 2 TB variant as well and if we just talk about the general battery capacity on all those iPhones the iPhone 16 will have about a 3561 mAh of battery that is a 6% increase from past year the iPhone 16 Pro will have a 3355 mAh that is about 2.5% increase and the iPhone 16 Pro Max will get around a 4676 mAh battery that is 5% increase but yet again the only iPhone that will see a decrease in the terms of the battery capacity as per the leaks would be the iPhone 16 plus because that smartphone will have about 4006 mAh battery which is surprisingly a 9% a smaller cell than what we had on the iPhone 15 plus from the last year and not a very amazing change but yet again it is just leak and things might change and it might be deeper when we will see all those iPhones in the real action. Now let us talk about 
uh, the connectivity on these devices because the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max will be receiving a new modem that is the X75 modem from Snapdragon versus the X71 that we had in the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max in the last year which means it will have an improved connectivity and faster 5G modem and also it will support the all new Wi-Fi 7 technology as well whereas the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus will be just stuck with the Wi-Fi 6e which is again a very uh, faster Wi-Fi standard but I would just want to say the latest in these iPhones because yet again we are paying a lot of money and a lot of money means it should buy us all the latest features that we have got in the market especially if it is Apple. Now let us talk about the camera setups on the iPhone 16 series and as we know of right now we do not have a lot of details on the cameras on the 16 and the 16 plus which means that camera might be a very similar one or exactly the same as what you saw on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 plus but we know that there will be some major camera differences in the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max. Now the iPhone 16 Pro will again get a very similar camera setup to what you got on the iPhone 15 Pro but now you may see an actual telephoto camera sensor on the iPhone 16 Pro as well that was something that was missing on the iPhone 15 Pro but on the other hand the iPhone 16 Pro Max may see an entire different story because we will get an all new IMX903 sensor from Sony which is again a one by 1.4 inches sensor which is a big one it is still not as big as a one inch camera sensor that is something that I just want from at least a Pro Max model around this year but that is something that would not be possible but yet again it is a new camera and also the telephoto camera sensor on this very same smartphone over here the 16 Pro Max it will get about 300 mm of focal range but yet again you will see a lot of improvements in the camera sensor on the iPhone 16 Pro Max because the main sensor will get a 14 bit analog to digital converter which is great for high quality image data conversion and also it will get a digital gain control as well for dynamic range and a better noise control as well so something that would be really different on the iphone 16 pro max is really the cameras which will make it one of the best selling iphones ever as well and yet again my biggest complaint over here would be that the iphone 16 pro max would not come with a one inch camera sensor at least according to the leaks and the rumors and yet again if you are someone who just have got the iphone 15 pro max and if when the iphone 16 pro max would be really available and it does not really have the one inch camera sensor I would say just pick up something like the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because that thing it will give you again a 1 inch camera sensor, a better low light performance and also that camera will have a gimbal and you just do not have to rely on the front camera because anyhow the back camera would always be better than the front camera and that is something that you just need to accept over here. But overall I would say that the camera upgrades on the 16 series would be really great and something again that I would be looking forward to. And that was all about the iPhone 16 series in a nutshell I did not talk about the iOS 18 because we have already made a video about the very same thing and we just do not have any of the AI features that are available right now but I would see a lot of new AI features that would pop up on the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 uh, Pro series because yet again there would be some exclusive feature that will differentiate between both of the devices and those are the only iPhones, the newer iPhones that will be getting the Apple intelligence features and these are the only remaining ones in the past, the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max that will have all the same features. And that was all about the iPhone 16 series in a nutshell again. That was all about this video. My name is Rachel. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.